everything to you You say you want to start something new And it's breaking my heart you're leaving Maybe I'm grieving But if you want to leave, take good care Hope you have a lot of nice things to wear But then a lot of nice things turn bad out there Baby, baby, it's a wild world It's hard to get by Just on a smile, girl Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world I always remember you Just like a child, girl Hey, how you doing? Justin here. In this lesson today, we are checking out Wild World by the super duper magnificent awesome Cat Stevens. I know he's called Yusuf Islam these days, but he'll always be Cat Stevens to me. And uh, this is one of his kind of best tunes, I think. Um, it's quite an easy tune, really. There's not too much difficult stuff. Again, you can kind of add in a few of those kind of scaly kind of riffs that are going in in the chorus, um, or you can just keep it real simple. So uh, let's start by keeping it real simple. Um, the intro, the little la 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 bit, we've got A minor, two strums on A minor, two on D with an F sharp bass. Now you can either be doing that with a thumb over to play the F sharp or you can use the whole different fingering uh, in order to get that F sharp there, whatever feels comfortable for you. For me it works with a thumb. So again, sorry. Two on A minor, two on D with an F sharp bass, two on G, two on C, two on F, Two on D minor, E. You can put a little sus4 thing in there, it's not really specific, it's just part of the riff. So that intro one more time, A minor, D with an F sharp bass, G to C, F, D minor to E. And then we're into the verse. More or less the same sequence again, but we got A minor. Now that I've D with an F sharp bass, everything to G. You say you see, start something else. And it's D minoring my heart with your even. Baby, I'm sus four. Just sus four, and then straight back to E, A minor. But if you want a D with an F sharp, take a G. Hope you have a C, nice things to F But then a D minor, nice things turn E to G Now, the little E chord there uh, is there for a little bit less time, a little 2-4 bar stuck in there. Um, so, 1, 2, 4, two, 1, 2, 1 the chorus so just be aware of that you don't, probably don't want to be doing too much of the counting thing uh, just listen to the song you know that's often when there's two four bars or odd time signature stuff you can go about counting it which does work you know and it can be academically good to do that but at the same time just being able to hear it listening to the song a lot will teach you how to do it without you having to worry oh well there's two four bars. oh panic you know you don't want to have all of that stuff going on so just listen to it and, and be aware of that e chord at the end of the end of the verse a little bit shorter than the others and also we've got this nice little um, going in, a little kind of a riff there. Now what I'm doing is playing a regular G but using just my third and fourth fingers. So third finger on the thickest string, a uh, uh, third fret, little finger on the, the third fret of uh, the thinner string. And that's giving us a top G, the note G. If we lift that finger off and put first finger in the first fret of the thinner string, we get an F note, lift it off. That's an E. Put little finger back down in the third fret of the second string, and we get the D note. That's how we get our... Which is just a kind of a nice little movement there at the end of that verse. So let's play through the verse now real slowly once through, and then we'll look at the chorus separate. So here we go, uh, a, uh, starting with A minor. Three, four, A minor. Now that I do with an F sharp bass, everything to G. You say you see you want something else And it's D minoring my heart, your E 
talk. Baby, I'm sus. Fall back to A minor. If you want a D with no sharp bass, take a G. Hope you have a C, nice things to F. But, but then a D minor, things turn E to G. With a little riff going down. And we're into the chorus. Now I put a little kind of a funny pause there. With the E, that little two far, four bar on the E chord going to the G, I will explain it just for those guys that want to know. It's got a push going into the G. So if I go from the F, one, two, three, four, one, two, and. So that really the G chord is coming on the and after two in the, uh, with the E chord. So one, two, and three, four, one, two. And we're in, I counted a whole, I counted then four, four, and then two, four, but doesn't really matter which way you want to count that, you know, but uh, as long as you get it. And like I said, listening is the better option than, than counting that stuff anyway. So into the chorus, the simple chords version first. So C, oh gee, baby, it's an F chord, do, 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 G, going to F, I got a C chord, G, ba, ba, da, 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 C, oh G chord, it's an F world do, 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 G always F you like a C girl D minor E we got that little thing uh, we definitely don't be wanting to be uh, uh, always be effing you like a child girl that would be definitely wrong um, so we'll be effing you like a C girl D minor to E oh dear that's just really going somewhere bad uh, I think we can skip over it. Let's just forget that that last 30 seconds happened and go back into the chorus. Um, so if you want to do the more fancy stuff here, we go C. Oh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. This is just a C major scale, starting on C and ending on C. So the notes C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. I'm not going to do a close-up or tell you what fret they are because I want you to know what the notes are in the open position anyway. By this stage, part of your beginner course training should be to know where the notes are in the open position. So you're going just backwards down C. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. Uh, and then we're going to uh, F. Uh, hang on, oh, I'm lost. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. G, sorry. I've got a C girl. Little riff here. Um, G, G, A, C, 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 A, G. And that's it. And just at the, the very last time, um, I'll always remember you like a C girl, D, E. You got that little D, sorry, D minor, E. Little turnaround to go back into it. So let me do a chorus and then into the verse. So here we go. Three, four, C. Like a C girl, G. C. Oh, G, baby, it's an F world. G. I'll always be a few. Like a C girl, D minor, E. A minor. E with an F sharp bass to G. You see, you see, it's not something now. And it's D minor in my heart, your E. Then a lot of nice things turn bad out there. So 
really the trickiest bit I reckon in this whole tune is getting navigating the way through that E chord with a little push on the G if you're going to do the fancier bit. But like I said, listening, listening, listening is the is the key there. Um, if you want to put those scale bits in there, they're definitely kind of a recognisable bit of the song, but they also make it significantly more difficult. So feel free to just play the chords. You know, it works still, and I think it sounds pretty cool. Um, one other note that I'll just mention. Uh, just because I'm fussy about this sort of stuff, I'm giving you the little rundown up there on the thinner strings because it sounds to me kind of more like a complete thing. You can hear the whole chord, hear that melody. Uh, but I've seen live quite a few live versions of this where he goes. He moves that little rundown from G, F, E, D down. So it's on the lower string. See if you can do that. If you want a little challenge, I'll then show you a nice close-up and get you to do it. If you know the notes on the fingerboard, you should be able to work out how to go G, F, E, D, an octave lower. You know, see if you can figure that the fingering out for that. It um, gives you a little bit of a challenge to work on as well. So uh, I think we're there pretty much. Experiment with the strumming a little bit. There's lots of different strumming patterns you can use for this song. You don't have to, there's, there's not really any particular set one I think you should use. If you want to pick up on all his little accents, particularly in the chorus, when you're going to get into doing those, the, the other uh, riffy bits, it means that the, the kind of the strumming gets disrupted and it's not quite as easy to hold your momentum, but you've got to be really try and keep that beat real solid. And that's probably the most important thing is it, when you come to that F chord, actually, if we, if we do. That beat going all the time. That's you know that's really where it's at. Is making sure that you keep that that the pulse there. You know, and again, playing along is and, and listening closely is the best way to do it. You know, playing with a metronome also can help a lot if you're struggling with that. Again, just doing it slowly. So. Ooh, baby, baby, it's a wild world. And that'll help you. Get the pulse right. Do it slowly always helps. You know, slowly is the key. If you can't do something, right now, you could play the hardest Tommy Emmanuel song that ever was if you did it at the right speed. You know, you might spend like five minutes trying to stretch your fingers into the right chord shape, but you could do it. It's the speed that, that is always the issue. So if you can't do something, it's not that you can't do it, you just can't do it fast enough or as fast as you want. So slow it down and make sure that you get it right before you try and you know, do it at full speed. Um, hope you have a lot of fun with that. Uh, great tune. And uh, I shall see you for another song lesson or something like that very soon. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.